So I just want to take a quick few minutes and talk about a scenario that we have with the IMB circuit. And sometimes um, you have a machine that's hard to start and you'll actually get a code for your IMV, which is the inlet metering valve on the high pressure uh, fuel pump. And um, this is actually a very common problem. I fix this many times through the year. And as a matter of fact, I've already fixed this one just a few months ago, but I've recreated the scenario in here. Uh, to show you what happens, why it's hard to start, and why you're coding for IMV. You might even see a cam sensor code, maybe a rail pressure buildup fault. Um, all three of these codes kind of go into this IMV circuit we're going to go about. So let's take a look where the IMV valve is. So right here on the high pressure pump, on the, this is a D24 uh, 2.4 liter. The 3.4 liter it would actually be over here on this side. But here's the IMV. Here's our plug. This is the fuel temperature sensor. We're not worried about that one. But the plug right here, and you'll see the harness kind of comes up um, this way, and the harness comes over here, and it comes into what we call the crossover harness. This crossover harness is what supplies 12 volts to the IMV. The IMV is actually a 12 volt sensor. Uh, the ground is controlled pulse with modulation through the ECU. So this wire right here is usually where I find damage. And what happens is it blows a fuse. I've seen this rub right here on this little fuel cap bracket. Uh, this one's tied up a little better, not much, but I've seen it rub through here and it'll actually rub through here into one of the white wires and it'll short to ground and it'll blow the fuse up there, fuse number 21. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Um, this pinch spot right here, this is also a common area for it to rub through. See, they got it wire tied to the bracket, but it can actually rub through into the wiring harness right there. So that's another place we need to take a look at. The other place I see it rub through all the time is underneath here where this is wire tied. It actually, this bracket rubs into the bottom of the harness and it'll rub in there in that IMB circuit and blow the fuse, of course, again, short to ground. So you can see this is actually a harness tape. So I've actually been into this harness and repaired this before. I don't remember when, but this is my work. So um, I know that this has been repaired. This crossover harness comes into a four pin Deutz connector and then it continues on into the mainframe harness. There's a little split back here where you see like three or four wires where they all kind of go into the same harness. That's also a spot where that can break. For some reason, I've repaired them way back in here. So that gives you kind of an idea of spots to look for on the engine harness that would rub through and cause this IMV fault. Now let's take a look at where the Fuse 21 is going to be located. So I went ahead and opened up the fuse box. So to recreate this issue, what I did to make it look like a blown fuse is I just pulled the fuse out. But if we look in our fuse panel here, see F21 ECU 15 amp. So this is going to be on the upper right side, third fuse down. There's usually not one up here in the top, but um, yeah, 15 amp third slot down is going to be the fuse 21 that we're going to look for. And when that fuse is blown and we try to start the machine, well, immediately when we turn the key on, we get a code. So let's go over here and take a look at what this code is. There we go. Inlet metering valve fault. So immediately we get that. Now let's try to start the machine. So the machine started, but it's running really rough and it's going to shut down here in a second. So the machine shut down. Let's we'll see if there's any more codes that got thrown here. Okay, so now we got three active codes. Number one, there it is, the inlet metering valve back up. Number two, cam signal fault. Let's back up. Number three, cam signal fault. Damn, we got all kinds of codes now. Another cam signal fault. There it is, rail pressure control fault. Cam signal fault. So the rail pressure buildup fault, that is the IMV that's causing that issue um, because we have a blown fuse. 
and you also saw that it had the cam signal. And the reason is because that crossover harness that feeds 12 volts, the cam signal or the cam sensor and the IMV run off that same 12 volts. They share a common circuit. So if the fuse is blown, you're not gonna have your cam signal. You're not gonna have your um, IMV control. And that's also gonna give you a rail buildup fault. And you can see that the machine started, but it ran really rough. And with all those codes, the engine just shut itself down. Sometimes the machine will not start with that code. So if you have a blown fuse, you know to go ahead and check those wires back there, check that part of the harness. Um, I've never had a rubbed wire down at the actual cam sensor itself. It's always near that crossover harness right there at the top of the engine harness. Now let's say you've gotten these codes and you do not have a blown fuse, or maybe your fuse blew before and now it's not blowing. I think what happened is probably one of the wires actually rubbed completely through and no, no longer giving you a short to ground. We just have an open circuit now and that may be why the fuse isn't blowing. So that's just a couple ideas on things to look for if you got any IMV faults. You know, I've got a ton of videos on injectors and fuel pumps and everything else, but this is a common problem that, um, that, that does happen. So hopefully if you're running that issue, this video will help you out. Any questions, let me know. You can contact us through the link in the description. Thanks for watching.